In today's competitive business climate, it's not enough just to perform. You've got to perform at your best. And when it comes to optimal performance, we're learning quite a lot about what helps and what hurts. Uh, in today's workplace, surveys show there's an epidemic of people who are really disengaged. They're bored. They're uh, definitely not working at their best. They're just doing enough to keep their job. And for these people, it's important to increase motivation increased interest, get them engaged, uh, get them, uh, you know, working under a deadline or, or doing something that they enjoy more. All of those things have an actual effect in the brain which helps the brain operate uh, at, at a better level. Uh, on the downside though, if you increase the pressure too much, if you give people uh, too much to do, too little time, too little support, then the brain secretes stress hormones that again handicap the ability to think clearly, to focus, to stay calm and cool, which is the best state. So in order to help people get into flow, into the place where they are performing at their best, there are several things that you can do. One is to try to match the challenge of the job to the person's best talents. That gets people engaged, gets them liking what they're doing. The other is to uh, get people to focus, and doing something you love naturally focuses you. But if you uh, have trouble with distractions, and who doesn't, with to, you know, phone calls and emails and Twitters and everything that comes to us, it's very hard to, to keep full focus. But it's absolutely essential for working at your best, for being in the flow state. A uh, third thing that you can do uh, is help people manage stress. Because if someone is under too much stress, it actually handicaps the cognitive centers. So in order to help people uh, work at their best and manage what's epidemic today uh, in, in the workplace, which is stress.